I'm home all day. I'd best climb down the drain pipe again then, hey, Sue? James? Oh, hello, Mrs. Smith. Goodbye, Mrs. Smith. Suzanne Beatrice Smith! All that girl's done is take selfies on her phone all day. I wish that man could keep still. All he's doing is back and forth, back and forth. I guess all he wants is everyone to notice him. Look at how much sun cream they've put on. That's going to take him ages to rub that in. That little girl's done so well. She's learnt to swim since she's been here. Bless her. Love that lady's swimsuit. I wonder where she got that from. Couldn't find anything nice before we came away. There they go with their sick beer of the afternoon. I've got snacks, drinks, iPads ready, anything else? Right, if everyone else can go to the toilet now please because there's not many places to stop on the route. What do you mean you can't find your colouring book? You packed that last night into your rucksack. Right then, we're all ready? Yeah, we've got everything? Let's go. <gasps> You're going to have to turn round. I've left my Fitbit charger at home and I am not losing steps for a whole week. Sorry, false alarm. I had already packed it. Oh, there's a right Karen in the caravan next door. Why? Because she's stolen my football, that's why. Well, what's she done that for? Well, how am I supposed to know? All I was doing was kicking it against her caravan. Bloody hell, Craig. Oh my God, she's coming, Mum. Quick, pretend we're not here. Suzanne Beatrice Smith, get your ass down here now. What is it, Mum? I've just received my credit card statement. £200 spent in Victoria's Secret? Oh my god, that's not me! Really? Yes, really! Perhaps it was Dad. Maybe he was buying something nice for you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Remember the last time he bought me underwear? He bought me those granny pants. Oh yeah, he did. Well, maybe it's Craig then. And why would Craig be buying in there? Where is Craig, anyway? He's at uh, Shannon's. Her uh, parents are away for the week. All right, Mum? Craig, yeah, sorry to bother you. I was just wondering what time you're coming home today. Yeah, I ain't coming home today. I'm going to spend the day with Logan and then stay here the night. Logan, really? Yeah, Logan. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Craig, hang on. What is it? I'm really sorry to have to ask you this, but I don't suppose you have £200 I could have. What do you need £200 for, Mum? To pay my credit card bill. Oh, shit. Shannon, I need that underwear back. Oh, all right, Brad. Hey, listen, me and Heidi, we're going to Libby's party tonight. You ought to join us. <laughs> Libby's parties don't stop. They just go on all night. Oh, hang on. You won't be able to come, will you? Because your mum will say so. And you can't even sneak out because you've tried that before. Right, listen, just say you're staying at Jonas's for the night. That way you can come, right? All right, Michaela. Well, what time does it finish? Craig! Don't come in, Mum. Just don't come in. OK, OK. I'm not coming in. That's all right, then. What are you doing in there? Nothing. So why couldn't I come in? Just because, Mum. Now leave me alone. What's he doing in there? Probably smoking out of his window or something. What? Oh, I'm only joking. He's probably got Shannon in there. Craig! Oh, the school holidays are so boring. Oh, where are all your friends? They're all busy today. Could we do something, Mum? No, I'm at work in an hour, but I am only there for three hours today, so perhaps we could do something after? Oh, perhaps I could come to work with you. I promise I won't get into any trouble. Well, you could come and do some filing, I suppose. Will they pay me? No, work won't pay you, but I could treat you to a coffee after. Perfect. Hello? Is someone here? I've got a weapon and I'm not afraid to use it. No, please don't hurt me, Mrs Smith. James, what are you doing here at 5am? I'm just on my way to work, Mrs Smith. And you thought you'd pop in and see Sue's on your way, did you? Well, no, actually, I've stayed here all night. Sue's, can you come down, please? Yeah, come in. Oh, hi, James. Have you popped in to see me on your way to work? <laughs> Don't give me that. He's just told me that he's spent the night here. For God's sake, James. What had we just talked about if you were to get caught? Sus! Oh, Mum, don't forget to get me that thing when you go shopping. Thing? No, you're going to have to remind me. You know, that thing, Mum. No, I don't know. I don't want to say in front of Craig because he'll tell everyone. Oh, no, he won't. Oh, it's okay. Yep, I remember. I'll get it for you.
Hiya, Mum. Oh, hey, Suze. Oh, I got you that thrush cream. I've put it on your bed. What the hell is thrush? Oh, my God, Mum. Sorry. Come on, wakey, wakey, Suze. Leave me alone, Dad. Come on, Craig. It's time to get up. Bloody hell, Dad. Come on, and you I want to get going. It's 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to be late. We're not going to be late. The plane doesn't leave for another 12 hours. Oh, morning. Everything all right, Suze? Yeah, I'm just washing my sheets because I've got blood on them. Oh, happens to most of us. Don't happen to me because I don't have periods. Oh my God, it's not even period blood. So what is it? I had a nosebleed. Yeah, and that definitely don't happen to me because I don't pick my nose. Craig, really? Yeah, but do you remember that time when he was little, Mum? <gasps> yes, when we had to take him to the hospital because he got his fingers stuck, stuck up, up there. there. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Where's my present? Oh, over there on the side. Well, what are these? The trainers you wanted. No, they're not. I wanted the grey ones, not the white ones. Oh, well, we'll just take them back and exchange them. Oh, my God, you can never do anything right. I knew I should have just taken your card and gone on my own to get them. Excuse me? Craig, have you been messing about with pregnancy tests again? I just found this in the bathroom bin. No, it ain't me, Mum. Well, was it Shannon then? Because she was here last night and thinking about it, she was really quiet. No, it ain't Shannon either. Plus, she weren't quiet when we were in my room. Oh, I guess it's Sue's then. Well, what does it say? Do I need to go and buy nappies? Oh, can I go to Reading Festival with Katie, Shannon and Daisy and we'd stay the whole weekend, please? Oh, have they still got tickets available? Katie's brother's got spares, so all we need is a tent, so... Oh, I don't know, Sue's. Reading Festival's massive. Why don't you go and check with your dad? Dad, Mum said I could go to Reading Festival with the girls and all we need is a tent, so can you get us one? Of course I can, Suze. How big do you want it? It needs to sleep eight. Mum, can you wash my sheets for me, please? But I only washed them yesterday, Suze. Why'd they need washing again? It's because James was here last night, Mum. That's why they need washing. Oh, my God, don't be disgusting, Craig. It's because I got blood on them. Oh, my God, that's disgusting. Ain't you heard of pads and tampons? Craig? Yes, of course I'll wash them, Suze. Just put them in front of the washing machine. And remember, putting an old towel on top of your sheets when you're on your period is always a good idea. Or a plastic sheet. Craig, you're not helpful! Suze, I've just been given this whole bag of uniform from Veronica down the street that Olivia's outgrown. Oh my God, there's no way I'm wearing someone else's school uniform. That's just rank. But there's nothing wrong with it. Half of it's in really good condition. I don't care, Mum. Why can't we just go to the school shop and buy new stuff? I'm not wasting money going and buying stuff from the shop when we've got perfectly good stuff from Olivia. So I'll leave it here and you can try it on whenever you're ready. OK? All right, Suze, I want to get your mum some nice underwear. Where's the best place to go? Oh, my God, yes. I know just the right shop. All right. Brought you a little prezi. Aw, thank you. Um, what are these? Underwear from that shop you like. What shop? Mache? Mache? Yeah, that clothes shop. Sue said it was your favourite. He means Bon Marche, dearie. Those give nice coverage all over. I do not shop in Bon Marche. You wait till I see Sue's. Well, if you don't want them, I'll have them. Oh my God, Craig. Shush, don't say anything. Mum is going to so kill you. Mum isn't going to find out if you keep your trap shut. Mum isn't going to find out what? Oh my God, how much did you hear? Enough to know that I'm going to want to kill you if I find out. Craig, is it okay to come out now? Has your mum gone to work yet? Shannon! No, his mum hasn't gone to work because it's his mum's day off. So please do come out of there or you're going to be in there a very long time. Thanks for picking me up, mum. That's okay. Doesn't James want a lift as well? He looks a little bit lost. No, he doesn't. What's happened? We've broken up. Broke up? Really? You two? Yes, really. Yeah, you'll be back together tomorrow at school. No, we won't. I hate him. Mum, James is here. Hello there, Mrs Smith. 
Seriously? One hour? It's been one hour. Right, Suze, come on, it's time for James to go now. Oh, can't he just stay for another half hour? No, you've got school tomorrow, it's time for him to go. But if I was at James's house right now, his mum would say, yeah, of course you can stay. I don't care what James's mum would do, it's time to go, please. Oh, fine. Right, thank you. I'm just going to go and have a shower, so bye, James. Bye, Mrs Smith. Sue's gone to bed. Nah, she's gone to James's. Seriously, it's 10pm. Why would you let her do that? I didn't. You did. I did what? Coffee break time? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Sorry, it's Suze. Hiya, Suze. Everything okay? I need to talk to you about Shannon. Well, I can't talk at the moment. I'm at work. Yeah, but I need to tell you now. Whatever it is, we'll talk about it when I get home, okay? Please, you don't understand. Suze, I'm busy. I can't talk right now. But, Mum! No buts. We'll talk when I get home, okay? Bye. Jeez, teenagers and their friends. That Mum, coffee? guess what's happened? What? What's happened? My phone's been stolen. What? When? How did you let that happen? I left it in my bag in the changing room and when I come back it had gone. Right, well we're going to need to phone the school, aren't we? Nah, they said there's nothing they can do because it's my own fault. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to get you a new one then. Yeah, the iPhone 14, Mum. We'll see. Craig, I just had a thought. Why don't we phone your phone and see if someone answers it? No, Mum, don't do that. Why is your phone ringing upstairs? Uh, Craig, what are you watching? It's called a film, Mum. Yes, an age 18 film by the look of it. Well, yeah, it is, but Dad said it'd be all right if he watched it with me. Right, and... Um... Where is Dad? He went to the toilet about half hour ago and he ain't come back yet. What are you doing in here and why aren't you watching the film with Craig? I can't be watching that, it's too scary. Give me Scooby-Doo any day. The Great British Debate. Jam first or cream first? I'm definitely jam first. Cannot be a Cornish cream tea when in Cornwall. Can we watch a film? Yeah, of course we can, Susie. What film do you want to watch? Anything with porn. E excuse me, with what? You know, when you and Daddy watch a film, you have a big bowl of it. Oh, you mean popcorn, Susie. Popcorn. Craig, what is all that banging up there? Nothing, just go back to bed. Well, can you quieten down then, please? Yeah, sorry. Okay, right, night. For God's sake, night. So, how was it? Yeah, bloody amazing, just like last time. Ah, oh, morning, you two. Why are you dressed like that? He's dressed like that because he's got a job. A job? Yeah, and he's just got home. An overnight job? Dressed like that? Yeah, because he's a dancer at an executive club. I'm sorry, what? What the? What's she doing, Mum? I have no idea. Karen, can I help you? Nah, you're all right, love. So, why have you got your hand over my fence? Well, ain't that obvious? I'm picking the runner beans. You can't just be picking the runner beans that I've been growing. Oh, yeah, and who says so? Me! That's who says so! Mum, is it alright if the girls stay for their tea, please? Yeah, of course it is. Pizza okay? Yeah, thanks, Mum. Girls, Mum said we can get a Domino's. Uh, no, I didn't. I've got a margarita, a pepperoni and a meat feast in the freezer, okay? Right, girls, pizza's on the table. Okay, just come in. Oh, who's that? It's fine, Mum. I'll get it. It'll be mine and the boys' Domino's. What? Why were they allowed Domino's? I have no idea. I got it for them. Um... Oh my god! Well, I know what parents come to in the future. 